Hi guys, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So in this episode, I'm going to be discussing how I set up a basic home-based photography studio. First things first, we need a backdrop. So I have here my ever-dependable Photix backdrop. It gives me a good white or black background. I will be installing it there in the back. Normally, I just hang it in the wall, but for the purpose of this video, I will be putting it on some light stands. Next, instead of using your normal Octobank, what I decided to use is basically just a 5-in-1 reflector. Very cheap, inexpensive modifier, but so many options for you to be able to uh, manipulate light with this small reflector. What we're going to be using here is the inner part, which is a diffuser here. But this one we'll also be using as a reflector. My main source of light will be my Sony F60RM. Fantastic flash, I just love it. Triggered using my Sony Remote Commander. I'll be using an A7R Mark III and the 2470 and an 85 millimeter 1.4. Again, a special shout out. Thank you very much to Hollyland for sending the Mars 400S because by using this Mars 400S, I am able to give you guys a first person's point of view of everything that I will be shooting today. Okay, as you can see, I already have my background there. I've mounted it on a, on a light stand. I have my diffuser here mounted on a reflector holder. My uh, Sony F60RM is on the MagMod Mag shoe, which allows me now to tilt it properly and control the direction of the light where I want it to go. It's mounted on my Photix Padat Carbon light stand. Fantastic, fantastic light stand. Very light and very portable. So. I want to be able to demonstrate about three light portrait lighting setups with this one small studio. This is basically about a two by three square meter area. So you could do this in the comforts of your own home. So let's start off by this first lighting pattern, our uh, lighting setup, which is the clam lighting. This is your standard beauty light. And as usual, I will have my wife sit in to be my model. Thank you very much again. So as you can see, I've set up my diffuser above and at an angle so that I can now put my light here and now tilt it going down so that it hits her face directly here, there. I'm using the 85 millimeter 1.4 lens now with the A7R Mark III. And since it is clamp shaped, we will now use the reflector panel that came with this 5-in-1 reflector. I'll probably use a silver side now and ask, my wife, ask your model to hold it and make sure that it catches the light that's coming from here in order for it to reflect and uh, remove the shadow underneath, underneath her chin. Okay, so first things first, we need to see what we're gonna do with ambient light. Now with this particular scene, I wanna remove all ambient light. So I can see it now in my live view. I will stop down there maybe at around five to 5.6, maybe five would be okay. And if I take a shot now, this is what I'm gonna get, nothing basically. So when I turn on my flash or my trigger, it automatically disables live view in my camera. So now you're able to see the actual ambient exposure here, but Basically, my exposure is set to nothing, meaning there is no ambient light that's gonna be picked up. Everything that you see from here on end will be coming from my flash. Okay, so my flash is set at group A right now at 1 8th power. Okay, can you move your shoulder this way? Then chin towards me. There we go. Then lean forward a bit. Good, chin down. Perfect, open your mouth a bit. Relax your, relax your shoulder. Okay, there. All right, there we go. Oh, very nice. But I think it's a tad bit underexposed. So we will now increase the power by about one stop. All right, can you bring up the reflector a bit more? There we go, perfect. Shoulder again, then chin. Good, eyes towards me, good. There we go, part your lip, part your lip a bit, perfect. 
there we go standard beauty lighting very very simple with one light okay so that's the first layout for this video very simple just my f60 rm pointed towards this general reflect uh, general area to diffuse the light making it softer and then it's headed it's pointed towards here so that it reflects back and opens up the shadows underneath her um, chin just to make it more flattering for her okay so now let's move on to our next setup so this next layout is something that I really love doing. I love creating dramatic lighting and I love shooting at the short side of the face. Meaning, the, if she is posing towards here, which is her natural profile, I would, be, I would be lighting from this general direction and actually shooting towards the shadow. So I put my, my diffuser panel here again, but instead, but I will show it to you, I'll show it to you guys now because the moment I put it behind the diffuser, you won't be able to see it. Okay, so I'm gonna have the flash in this general area so that I have the strongest light somewhere here and I would have a nice fall off or wraparound light and maybe illuminate this side of her face, but not too much because I still want this to be very dramatic, okay? So I'll put it in the back. Oh, and please make sure that your flash is set to its widest settings so that you can maximize the entire diffuser. So even if my light is gonna be in this area, this will still receive some light and give some nice light here. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Let's put it here, more shoulder. Good, there, some more, some more. Then chin towards here. Good, some more. Eyes, there. Very nice, very, very nice. How about tilting your head away from camera? Okay, and your eyes slightly to the right. Beautiful, 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 beautiful light. I love it, I love the pose. Maybe you could drop your shoulder just a tad. Too much, just a tad, there we go. Um, chin towards me, head, forehead away from camera. Perfect, that's it. Open your mouth just a tad bit, one, two, Beautiful, that's it. Beautiful, beautiful, dramatic light with just a standard diffuser that came in with your five-in-one reflector and a normal speed light and bare bulb in the back here. Okay, so now for our final lighting setup, I will teach you guys how to create beautiful portraits with a full white backdrop using just one light. So I get asked this question often, is it possible to have clean white backdrop, a uh, clean white background with just one light? And I go, yes, because all you have to do is understand the principles of light. Meaning, this diffuser, aside from the fact that it diffuses the light and makes it softer, it also weakens the light. So knowing that, you already know more or less that if I have my light shining straight towards the background and having the light that's hitting my subject diffused, the light that's hitting my subject would then be weaker than that of the one that's hitting the background. So then now what I will do is I will expose for the light that's hitting her face, therefore overexposing the back. So the key element to making this setup work is the fact that number one, your flash has to be set on its widest so that you get a wider beam of light we have raw light hitting your, your background in the back. The light that's passing through this diffuser will weaken before it hits your subject, therefore making that subject about a stop lower than that of your background. So that's a key. So you have to angle your light properly. Okay, so I have my flash set now. My flash power is set at half power. Maybe this time I'll put it at full power just to see how it's gonna turn out. And I'll have my subject face away from the light, and then looking back. Perfect, that's it. Can you open up your, your elbows a bit? There we go, perfect. And your eyes slightly towards your left. Some more, some more. Perfect, that's it. Then open your mouth a bit, part your mouth a bit. And then lean forward so that you can extend your neck. I'm sorry, extend your neck forward. So forehead forward, there. Perfect, that's it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
So that's basically how to use one light in order for you to be able to get a perfectly white backdrop. So how did I do that again? By basically using this diffuser to weaken the light that is hitting your subject's face, the raw light which is in the back goes directly towards the backdrop, giving it its full power and therefore making it about a stop over it a stop over than that of the light that is hitting your subject's face. Okay, so that's it. But there's so many things that you could do with this very simple home-based photography setup. The sky's the limit actually, guys. You could experiment um, with other modifiers. You could play around with more lights. But for me, I like keeping it simple first. And the principle behind that is that you have to master one light first before you can expand and use two or three or four lights. So again, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And while you're at it, click that notification bell. And if you want to see more of my images, feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's at Shiggy Alejandrido. Till the next video.